I am Lulin Pierre, the owner of the Temporary Staffing Agency since 1997 in the Essex County area where we created jobs for workers of all races in the Essex and Union Counties Home Depot, a major client who supplied roughly 200 to 300 workers daily to Home Depot. It's only when Home Depot found out that they were dealing with a minority black Haitian-owned temporary staffing agency that the relationship started to, de to deteriorate. Home Depot personally began destroying staffing or staffing agency. Home Depot managers and supervisors help or competitors steal our employees and hire them to fulfill the same exact Home Depot assignment without our consent. And our temporary staffing agency did not even get compensated. In our line of business, this is what we call temp napping. Home Depot told me to change my phone color if I wanted to continue doing business with Home Depot. We have refused a contract from Home Depot while three white owned temporary staffing agency doing less than 25% of the work were given contracts. Home Depot supervisors told our employees to leave our staffing agency to go uh, register with the other staffing agency, the white owned if they want to keep doing the same work inside of Home Depot that we were hired to, to do. If they wanted to keep working for Home Depot, they would have to do so, and they were forced into doing it. They just wanted to eliminate the black entrepreneur. Home Depot officials were quoted saying in regional human resources meetings, we don't like Haitians. We don't want them working here. We want them out of here. Sadly, there was a Haitian-born woman in that meeting, and she began to cry. I guess we were just too black to receive a contract directly from Home Depot. Then Home Depot managers told me and forced me into signing a contract under a pre chosen staffing agency, threatening me, intimidating, embarrassing me in front of Home Depot workers, even humiliating me and overpowering me. Four months after signing under the other chosen temporary staffing agency, they, they sent a letter with the blessing of Home Depot stating that Home Depot is now a partner with that agency. They also distributed it inside of Home Depot letters to all our employees to join the, that, that other staffing agency. Home Depot then uh, saying that Home Depot will then no longer doing business with the black owner. This is unjust, this is unfair, this is unethical. We live in a country where discrimination is found open. Today our company is divided by Home Depot and distributed, distributed it among them three. Home Depot, PLS, Staffmark three white owned company. Each one all a piece under the management working for Home Depot, for the sole benefit of Home Depot. It is sad and even shameful that a company so big and so large like Home Depot would reduce itself to such a low level when it discarded a staffing agency because the owner is black Haitian too often, upper management does not know what the regional managers are doing out there. We are asking the CEO, Mr. Frank Blake, to look into this case and bring the necessary correction if supplier diversity, as promoted by Home Depot, is not a joke. We have decided to keep talking until justice is done. Peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. 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 No peace.